Hello everyone and welcome to my vlog show African Girl Answers, the one place for all African girls under 35. And yes, that includes you whose lady part smells like fish. Mm, still fish. Mm -mm. Sardine. I'm your host, Sandra Fondufe. The H is silent. And today, we are going to address ways to attain vintage lady parts. Vintage. That means it would age gracefully. Without much ado, I'm going to go into it right now. Number one, wash with hot water only. Guys, here's the thing. Just like any other part of your body, your lady parts has a pH value which is minus 3.5 or 4.5, right? So to maintain it, you don't have to use harsh chemicals, which includes all these products that we use that have fruity smells or flavors or fragrances. They're actually really bad for you. So it's actually hoo-ha. It's not supposed to smell like apples or, 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 or candy or, or vanilla. No, it's supposed to smell like hoo-ha. That's the point. So <clears throat> use hot water only when washing your hoo-ha. I can't believe I just said that, but I did, so I'm very serious. Number two, avoid using douches and feminine sprays. You know, once more, I just spoke about that, but what you don't really know is that all these sprays that are meant to have a flower, to give your hoo-ha a flowery fragrance end up achieving the opposite effect, you see? So what happens is it starts to irritate the area and over time it causes problems that can even, can even complicate that area as time goes on. So what you want to do is avoid buying all those sprays. If you want to make a spray to make it smell fresh, maybe you can just have a bottle like this, one of these spray bottles, throw some water in there, some nice clean water, throw in some lemongrass, perhaps uh, maybe cinnamon, some natural stuff, and then you go ahead and spray the area, not on it, but just around it, and you kind of walk through to give that nice freshness. That's a very good way to, to go about it if you want to, if you must spray something. Number three, period hygiene. We all know that Mother Nature visits us once every month. At least, it should. Now, if it does not, then I don't really know what to say about that. <laughs> but the point is, when she does, whenever she does, you must be very clean about the whole thing. Try to take a shower every morning and every evening if you can, and try to change your pads often. Also, don't wear pads that, you know, have flavor on it. Uh, I've seen some, I've heard and seen some that have some kind of flavoring or, 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 or smell, like an extra nice douchey smell, I mean, an extra nice smell added to it. It should be a plain, clean pad that you should always wear because menstrual blood can also change the pH value of the vagina. So try as much as you can to change it every now and then. That's really a good way to go about it. Another thing is you want to wipe from front to back when you're in the bathroom. Don't wipe the other way around or all over the place because you can carry bacteria from the back to the front and your vagina will smell like an anus. <laughs> it's not funny, sorry, sorry. You can also go Muslim style, you know, little kettle with water, kind of wash the area after peeing. I know it's gross, but it's actually really clean. The next thing you want to do is wear cotton underwear. Yes, I know you want to be sexy or whatever. I get it. But cotton underwear for the most part is really good for you because the, the, the way the fabric is made, you can kind of breathe so the area can actually breathe and not end up being so stuffy like a barn with, with, with rotten eggs that have never been opened. Mm -mm. <laughs> kind of wear cotton underwear. It's really, really good for you. Trust me, all this stuff I'm saying is real. It's very real stuff. Also, wear loose fitted clothing. Look at the skirt I'm wearing right now. It's an African skirt. It's kind of loose, it's free. Air can go under, air can go out. <laughs> air will not go out though, but it can go out. But what I'm saying is, it kind of gives the area, you know, space to breathe. And you want that. You don't want to be the girl with a stuffy vagina. It's gross. The next thing to do if you want to attain vintage V is to change out of wet clothing as soon as possible. You go swimming, you happen to get wet for whatever reason, change out of it fast. Because what happens is that if underwear is not clean and dry, it can be prone to an infection. So it's, it's really good to kind of change fast, especially like a yeast infection because those guys like like the warm, wet areas. Something else is your shaving habits. 
you have to kind of be careful about what you do down there when it comes to shaving. Some waxing salons, for those of you that are into that kind of stuff, me, you will never, ever find me there. That actually hurts. But for those of you who have the courage and dare say the courage to do it, just be careful to make sure you go to a sanitary place. Make sure you don't get an infection from the waxing. Also, if you do decide to shave at home, shave around the area. Not, don't put things inside. It's not very good for you or for the world. It's kind of gross too. Another thing that you can do is to take a shower after sexual activity. The reason I say that is because when you, you know, partner with another person in that kind of way, you are opening yourself up to bacteria and other things that happen. So when you pee out, it's a fast way. Not that it's going to change anything that you caught if you caught something. Hopefully you did not. Hopefully you were safe. But I'm saying it's a good way to just kind of wash it out really fast. And it kind of helps maintain the general um, safety of the area. In the same family, be safe about it. Try to wear a condom when you have sex because semen from a man um, has a way of upsetting the, the pH value of that area. So just be safe. Actually, not only for this reason, but also for that reason. That is all for today, guys. I hope you learned a lot. And if you did not, no problem. Keep coming back. Hopefully, you learn something next time. If you have more tips on the goal that you can kind of share with us, go ahead and put it in the comments of this video. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe. It's the red button at the bottom of the video. I'm your host, Sandra Fondufe. You can follow me at Sandra Fondufe with an H on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Thanks for the support. It's been real. And let me know what you want to hear about, and I will tell you. Subak.